Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. Ooh, look at this. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeon, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Okay. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Renoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Cool. But the dungeons proved too dangerous, they were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. He's like, Ch -ch -ch -ah. It's like when Ash flips his hat, it's like that sick, right? Yeah. I think so. That's how I picture it. Here we go. Oh, he's so tired. <gasps> what? I like... Ah, L2. Is that it? We just- okay. We're a ninja! We only have a broom right now. Let's get all these- all these healths. Come on. The whole, like, XY axis thing is messing with me. Okay, we have two chests, right? Um, okay, where's quick move all? There we go. Got some broken swords, what is... Boundary rest? Okay. Sheesh. Oh, shoot. I clicked the wrong button. They're coming out of everywhere. Holy, 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 holy. Can you imagine if we- Dude. Oh god. Look at all the stuffs. There, yeah, there's no way we we last through this. We die. Okay. Look at all that though. We made it with like a decent amount of people there. Okay. We were thrown out of the dungeon. Now a bald headed man or woman is coming to rescue. It's a bald headed bearded man named Xenon. Uh, what, what a sorry looking kid. Is he. Is he for real? A sorry looking kid? Did you see what I just went up against? All alone now. Well, no, you're here. You know, rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Thanks. He's kinda rude. Sorry looking kid. He's a sorry looking old man. Ah. Uh, 
The, the Moonlighter. We are home. Look, we have a sign up so we can remember which side of our house we're on. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curi curious of the dungeons. Ah, I was. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who's Pete? Oh. You've been talking to yourself. We just woke up. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? You mean chew? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You're the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. I have to keep pushing myself like this for the goods. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Ooh. Thank you. This will be useful. Now then, get up. You're a wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. So who is he? Like, our grandfather's friend? Do we get out of bed? Okay. So what? Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop, and allow customers in. Okay. Come, come, buy my goods. Ah, I see you like the stone. I shall sell that. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. Okay, but can we really lose profit if we're, like, killing people to get this stuff? I don't think so. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Like, if we were buying and then selling, we could lose profit. But this way, we just gain profit. Oh, he said. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Ah, so a hundred's a good price, but two hundred, not so much. And that's all we know. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off, you'll pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will, make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night. But one can always find better artifacts, just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Okay. Go on now, these weary bones of mine must rest. Okay. Okay, so... Going in here. Gotta collect the goods. We're in. Golem Dungeon 1. Okay. Nothing. Ah. Our first enemies. To 
How did he damage me? Let's be to the S. Okay. I'm gonna say, why wasn't it hitting him? I only have 10 health. Sheesh, um. We're struggling. No. Okay. That, those big guys are rough. Can we do anything with this? What is that? Nothing? I can't do anything about that, dude. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. That's so annoying. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items, which or when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy, said old Crazy Pete done gone, lost his marbles. So that's Pete. Um, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons, the fifth door of Renoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Renoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah! Big boss gonna be so upset with little me. You're right. Okay. Okay. Cool. We got the stuffs. Ah, Xenon, you're back. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You! You found old Pete? Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. You're right, Xenon. Okay, well... Okay, so... There we go. Jeez, we do not need all of that. How do we... Okay. Um... Guess we'll put that at a hundred? I mean, we don't need all of this, right? I don't think so. Put that at a hundred. I mean, this is just a lot. How about we put it all at a hundred? And see how it goes. Okay. I do want to put some of it away. Like, we're already selling some of that. Can I quick move? Quick move some of those. And that. 
I don't really know about anything else. I mean, everything that we... I want like a little bit of everything, just in case we need it. So like... All of this can be sold. What does this say? Oh, it's just our diagram? Okay. Let's open up our shop and get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, hello! I remember talking to you. Would you like some of my wares? Yes, yes, yes. Good. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's not a good price? Okay. Um... Maybe we do 50? Oh, that's not a good price either. Sheesh. I'm just bad at this, I guess. Okay, let's try that. That sounds better. Come on, guys. Buy something, please. Don't just walk around. 300? What you thinking? Ooh, still not good? Really? I didn't think that was that bad. How about 20? How you feeling about 20? Anything? Oh, no. Does this stuff really suck that bad? What you thinking? Oh, still? These things aren't worth anything. Jesus. Didn't we just... I don't know. I'll do 30 on those. Seems like nothing is worth anything. But that crystal is worth 100. Okay. You guys hate vines. Um... We'll drop the price by 10. Come on, buy it. Oh, jeez. I'll put everything at 10. Oh, God. We can't sell anything. Let's go to five. That's not too bad. Still, five is so bad. Guess two. And I'll take something, right? Oh, jeez, bro. Okay, we'll sell it all for like really cheap. There we go. We got some vines selling. We're making very little cash. There we go. Please buy that. Oh no! What? That was too cheap for that? Jesus, this is what happens. Come on. Yeah, give me that money. The store's almost closed and we still have so much stuff to sell. Nothing of big value, but I guess a hundred bucks in a day is pretty good. Come on. Oh, what? That was too cheap, too. But that is, too, but... No, that was just good. I don't know, it's, it's good to just get like a foot in the door, figure out our prices, you know. Let's close up shop. It was a good night. Made $339. Um, pretty much most things went down in popularity other than uh, twigs and crystal.
Okay. Then we shall sleep. <laughs>